In this video, I'll break down how to create those really cool like mixed media paper rip collage effects in Final Cut Pro 10. In order to create these effects, you're gonna have to have your own printer and scanner. As you can see in the background, I have like a printer and scanner in one. I think it costs around $200. You can probably find one like even cheaper or even more affordable. There really is no way to create this effect digitally. Brian Del Mata has some really cool paper assets. So you can definitely make it look pretty good using digital effects, but it's not gonna look super, super realistic if you don't use a printer and scanner. So I definitely highly recommend it. There are a whole bunch of different things you can do with it. This is just one example. So it's just basically go over the, the basic idea, show you the different techniques, and then use your own creativity to come up with some really cool ideas. This is a really cool effect, and the, you know, the different ideas are completely limitless. You can do whatever you want. In this video, I'll just give you like a basic idea of how to create those really cool like mixed media effects. So as you can see, this is the before. So it's just a simple clip of Little Dirk from his music video. It's just a simple clip, but if you use like a printer and scanner, as you can see, now you can make it really cool like paper. So you can see, here's the before and here is the after so it basically just basically give you like a basic idea of how to create that effect it is really cool again like i said before the possibilities are limitless you can do whatever you want it's basically it's only limited by your um creativity so let's go ahead and open up the example just kind of give you a basic idea as, as you saw before this is just a clip just a simple um clip so you can do obviously whatever you want we're just going to use this clip as the example as you can see this clip is playing at normal speed but if you saw in the intro is that really cool like stop motion effect now i think to yourself final doesn't have posterized time that stop motion effect is not built into final cut and yes you're right it doesn't come with the built-in stop motion effect but on my digital store i have the stop motion effect now it'll come with two different effects stop motion and strobe they're basically essentially the same things they might just create them a little bit differently and they might work a little bit differently depending on your clip but essentially they're the same things so we head over here to the effects panel and you can either apply the strobe or stop motion we're gonna take this stop motion just simply apply it onto your clip and then adjust the settings so this is an effect so what you you want to do is you want to make sure this plugin is in your effects folder in your motions template folder and basically just adjust the number so basically the lower the number the slower it's going to be so for example let's change it to three and now the clip since we apply the stop motion effect and just basically brought down the frames per second the clip as you see it's created a really cool like stop motion there we go that's how you recreate that stop motion effect it's for a my digital store it's basically posterized time for final cut now what you want to do is you want to export different screenshots so basically what i just did as you saw in the intro there's different markers so I basically just pressed M on the keyboard, then I went forward a couple frames, waited to the frame to change, so I wait for the frame to change right there, place another marker, and I'm using the um, right and left arrow keys to go frame by frame, and then just find where the next frame, and then uh, press M on your keyboard to create a marker. And once you basically marked out all the different frames you want to use, you want to go to each marker, head over here to export, and then click on save current frame, and then you can name whatever you want, and then of course change the export PNG, JPEG, Photoshop file, whatever you want, and then just click on next. You're basically just exporting it like that single frame. So you're basically quote unquote taking a screenshot. You're just exporting those individual um, frames. If you, now if you don't see that in your export section, go over here and click on add destination and you can drag the save current frame into the destinations. That sometimes if it's not there, that should work too. But all you're basically essentially doing is you're just exporting each individual frame. It's as simple as that. Now what you want to do is you want to take those frames and you want to import it into like a Google Docs or Microsoft Word. You're basically trying to get those images and put it on a Word document and then just simply send it to your printer. So you're just printing out all those individual frames and it's as simple as that. You just basically want to get these frames print it out to your printer. So Microsoft Word, Google Docs, it just depends on what you want to use. Now this is really important. If you want to recreate the effect you saw in the intro, you basically want to print off two um, copies because you're basically going to cut out the subject and then like you'll know, use a glue stick or tape and then place it on top. So you want to have print out two um, copies. Now all you're going to do is you're basically going to take like an exacto knife or just a simple knife or scissors. And all you're going to do in this case, if you want to do the one that I created in the intro, you're just basically going to cut out the subject. It's as simple as that. Again, exacto knife, scissors, all you're just doing is you're trying to cut out the subject. Now, of course, you know, be careful, you know, obviously, you know, be safe when you're anything, anytime you're using like a, a knife or scissors or anything like that, of course, use caution and, you know, I stress that, be safe. But all you're basically doing is you're just cutting out um, the subject. Now, once you have the subject cut out, what you want to do is you want to use a glue stick or tape and you want to take that subject and then basically put them on the copied, or because you, you printed off two separate copies, you're going to place them on the other copy and you want to make sure that the subject matches up. I just use tape glue could also work just depends on what you want to do but you're just basically taking that subject and then you know kind of like gluing 
came back on our taping him onto the second copy, which is again why you want to print off two separate um, copies. Now, once you have that all done, you can take like you know, a pencil, a pen, a whiteout pen, gel pen, and you can uh, draw on each indiv each individual frame if that's what you want to do. And then all you want to do is you want to take those and then just scan them back to your computer, which is why you need a printer and a scanner, or else you can't really create mixed media effects. So just simply scan it back to your computer. In this case, I use like a the mobile app, so I scan it to my phone and then just airdropped it to my computer. Now, once you have it scanned to your computer, as you can see, here is the document. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to place it on top of your clip. Now, what we're going to do is basically you're going to go to each individual frame, and we're just going to blade the clip. So, we're simply going to just simply blade um, the clip, and then we just go ahead and just trim it. Now, what you want to do is you want to select on the actual like scan document. We're going to rotate this to like negative 90 degrees, and we'll scale it to maybe something like 630 percent. And then you can go over here, go up to 50 percent, and enable the, the transparency or the transform grid. And then you can simply just sim take the a Y and X position and then just simply line it up. Just as you know, simple as that. It'll go ahead and just drag it until the subject gets into frame. And there you go. Simple as that. Now you have the first one done um, right there. You know, simple as that. Now we can go ahead. In this case, you could do each individually or you could also just cut them. Uh, um, basically, just cut them off the frame. And then basically what we can do is we can click on like Command C, copy this photo, and then click on like Command V to paste it. Or you could also just select on the actual image itself and then just simply drag it out and then just use the blade tool to cut it up. Now we're going to do the next frame and now you can do is you can select on the actual scan document. You can take the X position and move it over. That's one thing you can do or you could also select on the image, go to the Y and then just simply drag it. So as you can see, that's how we kind of like have it all. That's what you want to kind of have all the documents on one piece of paper because as you can see, this is just really easy. Just simply once you have one of the photos adjusted, all you're going to do is just simply take the Y and X and then just simply move the photo over. Now, of course, we can go ahead and drag this out to as long as we want and we just um, click on command B um, to blade it we can select on this image and then just take the X and then move it over and then simple as that that's basically all you have to do then we go ahead and play the video as you can see now you have this really cool like cut out stop motion effect and there you go it's as simple as that and then you just basically take the, the these different techniques and of course make it more advanced you know or as simple as you want but that is the basic fundamentals kind of the 101 to creating mixed media effects in Final Cut of course this also works with Premiere Pro DaVinci Resolve it works with all kinds of different editing programs but I just chose to use Final Cut because my channel is all about Final Cut but it's a very easy effect it's not super um, complicated. It's just going to take a little bit of time to, of course, cut out um, each individual frame and draw on it. But there we go. There is the 101 basic fundamentals to creating mixed media effects. Now use your own creativity and just make it crazy. Go way over the top. I, of course, in this example, it's very simple. It's not super, you know, over the top. But you know, just take these ideas and just go crazy with it. And, and of course, you know, tag me on Instagram if you want if you want me to see these really cool mixed media effects. But there we go. Simple as that. 101 basics to creating mixed media effects in Final Cut. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy watching these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, and transitions, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.